I remember when my son um, had his first ear infection, taking a half day off of work, taking him into the doctor's office, you know, sitting in the waiting room, finally getting in, the doctor takes a quick, you know, millisecond peek inside my kid's ear and then tells me, oh yep, your kid has an ear infection. And you know, I thought, wow, this could be addressed in such a better way. Cellscope is a smartphone enabled medical toolkit for families. A parent at home who thinks their kid may have an ear infection, all they need to do is take our device and attach it to their phone, put it in their kid's ear, and then using our app, they can very, very quickly capture a video and then transmit it to a physician for a remote diagnosis. I was always interested in math and science. A lot of it came from the home. Both of my parents studied physics and then they applied it in their career. My father made science really come alive for me. And my mom would be invited to present her scientific papers at various conferences and she would pull me out of school and we would go. I was really interested in mechanical engineering or human biology. And now looking back, it makes a lot of sense because I ended up going into medical devices. They were building cell phone based microscopes for emerging markets, doing remote diagnosis for diseases like tuberculosis and malaria. And when I found out about this, I thought, wow, this is incredible. I would love to be involved. We were doing these pilots in Vietnam or Uganda, and we were getting a tremendous response and feedback from the field. And so I remember we were just having this discussion saying, how can we make an impact even closer to home. We really wanted to be able to get these products out of the lab and into the real world. The idea of them keeping the device makes a lot of sense. We, don't. we decided to start with the ear and the smartphone otoscope as the first medical device in our toolkit. That feels pretty good though. We learned that there's around 20 million ear infection-related doctor visits in the U.S. alone each year. We would print these prototypes and then, you know, go buy the off-the-shelf lenses and then we would just do hacks like, I remember going to a jewelry store to buy little gold rings because we needed those to hold the fiber optics bundle down in place. But we would go out and talk to doctors, talk to parents, get their feedback. So we were constantly tweaking it and making improvements. We would do a lot of ear exams on each other. I think we probably have image to our ears the most of anybody. <laughs> For consumers, the challenge is how do you get a mom or dad who has never used an otoscope, doesn't even know what an otoscope is, to be able to do this from their home? And so there are a lot of things that our team has had to think about in terms of how can we make the system, both from hardware and software, to be as simple as possible. Digital health is so new, what we're doing is so new, there really aren't any clear business models for us to follow. We've got ideas for other devices. The vision is, is huge, especially for like developing countries where a lot of people don't have access to doctors. Being able to have a smartphone enabled toolkit like ours and being able to transmit that data to a doctor really anywhere, that would be amazing. <laughs>